Hi again, it's Charmy Sketches, and I'm back again with another manga review. This is a review of Miwa Ueda's Papillion, or Papillon. I always mess up saying it because, I don't know, I guess it's a French name. So the original name of the series is actually Papillon Chotohana. Hana is one of the characters in the story, the Papillon. Um, is apparently it's the French word for butterfly, so um, that comes into play with the main character here, Ageha. Um, and basically, I really enjoyed the series. This is considered a Jose manga, and it was published by Del Rey, so it's out of print but um, it's totally worth checking out because I feel like a lot of people are familiar with um, Miwa Ueda's work through Peach Girl and actually on every single volume of the series it says creator of Peach Girl because that's what she's most well known for at least um, in the West. I have not read Peach Girl all the way through. Every time I Every time in the past I've started reading it, like renting it from the library or something, I just couldn't stand some of the characters and I thought a lot of the drama, a lot of the romantic drama was contrived and I never felt like I understood why any of the characters felt the way they did, even though I have to admit the artwork is gorgeous. I love Miwa Ueda's artwork and I just couldn't connect with the Peach Girl characters because I felt like Miwa Ueda never really took the time to explain why, like for example, Sae, she never explains why Sae does what she does and she never really even explains, I felt like I, need, I needed more reasons why the main character in Peach Girl, I can't remember her name, I think her name is Momo or something? Momoji or something? Um, but I would have enjoyed if she explained why, what are the underpinnings of why she's in love with Eiji or whatever his name is, the main guy character that she's in love with in the beginning. Um, because all I know is that, you know, he was the only person who was nice to her when everybody thought she was a Garu or um, Ganguro because she was tan or whatever. But anyway, this is not, this review is not about Peach Girl. So getting back on track, what I really enjoyed about Papillon is how Miwa Ueda uses the character of Q to go deeper into the psychological issues and reasons behind what the characters do. You know, this is a romantic drama, but it also deals with relationships more than just, you know, is that guy gonna get with that girl? Is that girl gonna get with that guy? It's more, it's also about relationships within within families, relationships, like, how does this main character feel about her father? Is she close to her father? Does she feel like her parents don't love her? All that stuff. And they go in depth and they actually solve those things instead of just leaving them up in the air so that, you know, you get sympathy for this character. By the end of the story, Ageha really grows as a character and I personally really enjoyed her and identified with her. The basic story here is that this is Ageha in the beginning. She's tomboyish. She was sent away to live with her grandmother when they were children, and this is her twin sister, Hana. And Hana is super popular. She's really pretty, but for some reason she has like this obsession with competing with her sister. And, you know, that's something that's that could have been drawn out forever. This could have been a super long series, but it's really not. Like, honestly, I've heard some people say that Peach Girl is very, very drawn out. And I feel like Papillon did everything right that Peach Girl hasn't done. 
So I feel like this series is better than Peach Girl, but I can't really say that because I haven't actually read all of Peach Girl and I haven't actually finished the anime either for very similar reasons. Anyway, getting back into this. So the basic romance in Papillon is about the main character, Ageha Mizuki, also known as Chrysalis or Butterfly because she's slowly transforming as the series goes and that's the nickname that her love interest gives her. Her love interest is Hayato Ichijuku, and his nickname is Kyuchan. That's what she calls him. And their relationship is really, really interesting. I, I thought they were super cute together, and they definitely give reasons why they like each other. It's not just, like, up in the air. You know, they, they like each other because that's what the plot needs them to do. The plot needs them to like each other. That's just not how it goes in this series. So because Del Rey manga went out of business, these are out of print, as I said earlier. Unfortunately, because of that, no one else has, you know, picked up the series to release the last two volumes. Um, the last volume here, as you can see, is a omnibus... Basically, the only way to finish this series is if you read Japanese or you're interested in learning Japanese, I would highly recommend buying the Japanese volumes. I plan to do that. I haven't really found um, just the last two volumes in a lot because I kind of don't want to rebuy the entire series in Japanese, although I don't know, maybe I will eventually if, if the price is right. Basically, the way that I completed this series was I, I did read Scanlations. I definitely don't like reading Scanlations, not only because, you know, it's technically illegal. I mean, that's a whole different video. I can make another video about that at some point. I'm not disparaging anyone who reads Scanlations. Um, but personally, I don't like looking at a screen to, to read manga. Um, I prefer you know, the physical books. And also I like to support the industry and I like to support support stuff, even though, you know, I buy used manga, it's still in a way supporting the industry because someone had to actually physically buy this. And, you know, when money is tight, you, you do what you have to do to, you know, get manga. And especially if it's out of print, there's really no way to buy it new. But um, I, I'm not planning to link to those scanlations. Honestly, they weren't that well done. So I'm actually a little bit disappointed. Um, like they were using Comic Sans and everything for the, the dialogue. And it just wasn't good. The quality of the scans weren't good. Um, but I mean, at least I got the the end of the series, and the end of the series was very good. I was very touched by it, because when it comes down to it, this story is not just about the relationship of the main female character and the main male character. The main storyline is about the two sisters and, you know, how they grow as people and overcome, you know, pettiness and anger and all sorts of complicated emotions, and that's the main draw of the series for me. I can't really think of any other manga that deal with sisters. Um, I know there's one, I think it's called Arisa or something like that. I'm not sure who it's by, I don't own it, but um, if you've ever read that, tell me what you thought of it. Um, if you know of any other manga that has, you know, characters that are very well psychologically fleshed out, well fleshed out characters plus Jose. Those are my favorite things. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I didn't ramble too much. I'm really glad that you guys have subscribed and I really enjoy your comments so feel free to leave them below. Bye!